people of Gaza are in dire need of assistance as they battle the coronavirus pandemic. And this week, help arrived in the form of medical aid purchased by the United Arab Emirates, entering the Gaza Strip from Egypt. The shipment includes or have included uh, 30 ventilators of two types, which are very necessary for the IC units in Gaza Strip. Also, we received about 2,000 PCR tests in the shipment, uh, also uh, disposable for the staff. Even before COVID-19, Gaza's health system was already crumbling under the weight of more than a decade of blockade imposed by Israel and Egypt in 2007, after Hamas took control. Coronavirus spread quickly here, one of the most densely populated places on Earth, with some 8,000 active cases already killing more than 400 people and more than 200 hospitalized, far more than doctors can handle. And this oxygen extraction plant sent in the shipment will boost the entire health system. This big station um, could be enough for the European Gaza Hospital and we can supply other hospitals in uh, Khan Yunis and uh, in Rafah and maybe in, uh, in Wusta, uh, governorate in Gaza Strip. Uh, it will be a, a, a great help for the cases and a great support for the health system in Gaza. Although Hamas rules the Gaza Strip, the aid transfer was coordinated by deposed Fatah official Mohammed Dahlan, a longtime political rival of Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. I am the consultant of health for Dahlan. I talked with him about the stations of oxygen extractions before and about the ventilators, the need of ventilators, and he promised to exert efforts for that. He succeeded to uh, uh, pressure on the Egyptian side to, to pass it to Gaza, I mean the station, and to pass the shipment to Gaza. And then, now it's okay, we received them. Uh, so uh, we are grateful for the Arab Emirate, uh, Mohammed bin Zayed, uh, the government and the people, and we are grateful for uh, also the Fatah leader, uh, Mohammed Dahlan. Dahlan, originally from Gaza himself, moved to Abu Dhabi 10 years ago after a falling out with Abbas. He previously served as the Palestinian Authority's commander of preventative security in Gaza, and some see this move as an attempt to re-enter politics. While Hamas and the PA are technically at odds, Hamas allows Dahlan loyalists to hold support rallies in the Strip. The shipment is the second of its kind, and more could be en route. I talked with him about the vaccination. And uh, we're, uh, he's planning to uh, bring the vaccine to Gaza, particularly the Russian time. Emily Rose, I-24 News.